Good morning. This is Tammy coming to you from Kennewick, Washington. Um, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I wanted to show you how easy it is to make a matchbox, a matchbox um, box. And um, I'm demonstrating with my acrylic blocks um, just to kind of show you how to do this. They're kind of fun. And they're very sturdy little boxes um, made from just my basic cardstock from Stampin' Up. And um, yeah, anyway, um, if you would like to uh, order anything from Stampin' Up, please um, contact me at... Uh, tammyscraps at yahoo.com to place an order or you can go to stampinup.com and please put me in as your demonstrator if you don't already have one and I'd be more than happy to um, be your new uh, salesperson for uh, Stampin' Up. So I'm going to get into making this box right now. <clears throat> I've got two samples right here, um, a long one and a medium one and I'm going to make one using this block today just to show you how it's done. You will need for this um, cardstock, um, whatever you're going to put in your box so you can measure it, and your cutting trimmer. Yeah, get things right here. And you will also, um, if you want a bone folder, and your glue to put the outside covering on. So I'm first of all going to um, measure my block and see how wide it is. And this one is a two inch block by two and a quarter. Okay, and they're about three quarters of an inch high. So my first score is going to be at, um, three-eighths of an inch. I find that's much easier to fold over than a quarter inch. So I start with three-eighths of an inch, scored. Sorry about all the wiggling. And then I move that score line up to the three-quarter inch mark. Make sure everything's straight. Score. Move that one up to the next three-quarter inch mark. Make sure everything's straight and score. And now this is where you need to decide whether you're going to go long or short. I'm going to go ahead and do mine at the um, two and a quarter. So I'm going to move that score line up to just a past that two and a quarter. So I have a little bit of room and score. And then I'm going to do the same measurements from here which are going to be um, three quarters of an inch. And three quarters of an inch. And then the next one will be um, at three eighths and I'll cut that side off. Okay, now um, for the bottom of the card, again, I want three eighths of an inch. I don't know if you can see for sure where I'm doing that at, but um, I want my three eighths inch first. Make sure everything is straight and on there. Don't cut it. So score and then again at three quarters of an inch. three quarters of an inch okay now this time since I went the two and a quarter this way I'm going to make it the two inch this way so I'm going to move that last score line up to the two inch mark 
and score. And then I'm going to move up to three quarters, score, three quarters, score. And I want the bottom of my box to be um, heavy or thick. So I am going to move that three quarters of an inch. My block was two inches wide, but I'm going to come in, um, I would say, three sixteenths of an inch from that two inch mark for the bottom of my card. And you'll understand why here in just a minute. And cut it completely off. Okay, cutting the, is done. As far as that goes, you also need a pair of snips or scissors. Um, and I want to remove pieces of this now. Since this is the one that's going in the bottom, I need to remove the sides up to the second score line. And I'm cutting just inside these score lines so it'll make the box put together easier. And then I'm going to cut out this corner. Okay. I'm going to come to that next score line and I'm cutting inside um, this portion of it, of that score line, and then I'm going to take out a little angle just on this side. I'm going to remove that. Then I'm going to take this little tab off just on this one right here. So it looks like that. And I'm going to come in here and again inside that score line towards this portion right here. Cut up to the score line, the second, let's see, one, two, third score line. And then I'm going to remove just a little bit of an angle of that to remove the whole score line. Come in and cut just inside the score line on this tab inside the score line on that one. So the score line was here. I cut the score line off. Then I'm going to trim this tab off to there. I'm going to keep doing this um, all the way around, making sure that I do exactly the same op opposites of each other so that I don't mess this up. Um, remove to there come in here and I want to just angle cut slightly down to the score line and follow the score line on this one but inside of it trim this off come over to this side inside the score line on to this side of the score line Take a little wedge out, cut inside the score line towards the tab, and then remove this whole section right here. Okay, all that's out of the way. Now for varnishing your score lines, there's one two, three, come to the other side, one, two, and these ones should have been folded out on the last one. That's okay. Okay, so I got that side done. Whoops, I forgot to cut off a tab here. Cut off that tab. Okay. Now I'll fold on the sides, varnish, fold on the side there, turn it around, fold there and there, fold this one down, and this one up. Okay, looks a little complicated, but it's really not. First thing I'm going to do is fold in the top and the this side with the long flaps and the one opposite of it. And then I'm going to fold in these little sides here. 
taking the outside piece and making sure everything is inside there without. You don't need any glue for this part. And obviously, it's not. Okay. I'm going to full right. Okay. There's that side. Then we'll come in and get this side. Making sure all my tabs are tucked in. If you find this difficult, I didn't have any problem before, so I don't know what's going on with my box. Okay. Fold it over. Got this one folded over. Then you're going to take your short side and fold it in. And now you're going to take the side and fold it in. And it should perfectly fit inside there. And I didn't need any glue or anything to make my box. My acrylic box will fit inside there. Like I said, you can make this to fit any um, anything that you would like to. Um, you can take your piece of paper you want to go around. That one will just work. Do I have a longer piece? Yeah, I'm going to use this piece here and cut it at uh, two and a quarter inches wide because that's how wide my block is. So I'll come over here and trim this down to two quarters of an inch. Keep this piece. Take this one and see it's just slightly smaller than the box itself. Flip it over. And I like to crease with my fingers. And this is just going to perfectly fit. I could trim it off, but for time I'm going to leave it as is. It's hidden and not going to go anywhere. So this is where my glue comes in. Do not glue this to the white box because you want it to slide out. But I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I know it's going to take the fill up the whole thing on this one. Slide this over it. Make sure all my ends are matching. And there you have your little matchbox. And then I just took my scrap that I had left over and um, this one here I'll trim down and pull out my trimmer and let's make it three quarters of an inch just because. And since these are double sided, it makes it nice because then whatever scraps I have, I can just take it, turn it over, and I'm just going to place the glue all the way through this one. Do up my glue. Place it in the center of my box. And you want it to wrap. You don't want it to be on the sides that are pushing in and out or it will be pointless. So I'm just wrapping it following. And I will trim this one off since it's I do have a little bit of glue there, but that's all right. Okay. And then decorate it however you want. I used, on my other boxes, I used butterflies that I had pre-cut and then colored. This one here, I'll put that little one on there. Do a little bit of coloring really quick. I'm going to use my um, 
Light Blackberry Bliss and Light Mint Macaron. And I'll show you how to shade these. So I'm going to use the purple one in the inside. Don't cover up my butterfly's body, but... Then I'll come in with the Mitt Macaron, do the outside edges. Kind of blend the two together where they meet. What I like about these markers is you can pretend you're an artist and uh, it, it all works out. So I just kind of blended in the purple with the green. And I like to use the, I don't have black, so um, dark misty moonlight for his body. And then I'm going to Bend up his wings, following his body, give him a little bit of dimension. Whoops. Put a little bit of glue. And then put him right here on my center of my box. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed my video today. Again, um, if you liked it, please share it and help me get uh, my business going. Um, again, you can contact me um, at TammyScraps at Yahoo.com to place an order. Or you can go to StampinUp.com and put Tammy Jameson in as your demonstrator. And I'll be more than happy to be that for you and keep you up to date on the latest things. Um, cardstock I used was basic white for the base and as you can see you can slide them in and out either way and um, this DSP that I used actually was in this last celebration that just ended um, but you can use any paper you want if it's the DSP um, you can use the opposite side this is the opposite side of that one so if you look at this side that's what it looked like on the other side. So it really makes it nice and easy to do these. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye.